It's a pleasure having you here back to my channel, the CSA Forex channel, which stands for Common Sense Approach to Forex Trading. I want to quickly talk about something for especially the new traders, those that are interested in starting the business of trading, whether you want to trade the Forex market or the cryptos or the stocks or whatever. I wanted to give you my own point of view how to start. You know, first of all, you need education. That's the first thing I'm going to mention. Education. Most people today, they lack the proper education. But because of the money they want to make, they're rushing. And as they're rushing, they end up rushing out. Or they're just stuck in the middle. And then a lot of people feel they don't need the education. But that is the truth. Education, number one. I'm going to elaborate some more on the things that you need to actually learn when it comes to education. But then after the education, you need to practice. I can't practice for you. Even if I explain the business, I give you the education, the information, the knowledge, I give you everything from the A to Z of the business. You still need to practice. And that's why they always say, the more you practice, the better you get. And that is the truth. And of course, that is also how you build on your experience. Now, apart from practicing, you also need a mentor. It's always advisable for you to have a mentor, someone that has the experience, someone that has, you know, gone through what you want to go through now. Someone that can easily show you the ropes. Do this, don't do this, this is good, this is bad, and so on. Someone who will be your guide and then it will show you how to proceed even further. And you also need to keep records. Keep records of your results, both good and bad. I repeat, keep records of your results because you're gonna have results. As long as you're practicing on the demo, then after a while, I always advise to cross over to a live simply because there is a big difference between the demo and the live. For one, your emotions is attached to that account simply because it is real money while the other there is zero emotions meaning that if you lose a million dollars on a demo you will not feel anything as much as when you lose ten dollars on the live account because that is real money and of course it is real money that you are after now after keeping records of your results you now need to evaluate you need to go through the results that you had because those results will give you more information at the end of the day. So that is one, education. Number two, practice. Number three, mentor. Number four, keep records of your results. And number five, evaluate. Now, based on what I just mentioned, I want to break it down some more. Now, when it comes to the education aspects, we all know you need to know the platform, the method to the four, method to the five, trading view whatever platform it is that we use for trading that one is out of it but then instead of coming and talking about the trading strategy the first thing i'll tell you guys now this is assuming i'm talking to myself like some 10 plus years ago and i've told myself first things first work on your psychology the psychology of this business or trading has to do with your emotions and the truth now is that we are easily affected by emotions. Good, bad, happy, sad, make money, lose money. Our emotions is the first thing that kicks in. And that's why we need to first of all work on that aspect. And then you must also tell yourself that you are going to have losses. Simple. Because when the losses occur, you would now be what? You would know that there was a probability of them occurring and then you would ensure that the losses are what well minimized that's why apart from the psychology which is number one the second thing is risk management because it's this risk management that's going to help your psychology your emotions to be well balanced because if you are risking big amounts it means you're going to lose big amounts as well and if this is the case it is going to hit you hard over here and once it hits you hard over here you're going to start to do funny things you could easily end up placing way too many trades because you want to recoup the losses and even enter into a profit state or you know like you're angry you want to revenge you place a trade 
and then the risk management is massive you are using a volume that your account balance cannot even carry on the head so risk management is very key especially based on minimizing the losses the minimizing losses aspect is going to help you when it comes to the psychology of trading controlling the emotions the other part of risk management has to do with what has to do with maximizing of profit but i always say work first of all on minimizing just like in soccer football or whatever sports they always work on protecting the goal line that's the first thing think about it why did they use formations such as 442 or 451 or 433 why don't you use formations like 244 why don't they reverse it but everybody they are all thinking of protection account protection very key so we mentioned psychology risk management and then you must have a trading plan everybody must have a trading plan a trading plan is going to comprise of the instruments that you are trading you must know your instruments that you're trading less is more you must know the risk that you're going to be putting in one percent two percent whatever you're comfortable with you must also know the kind of trader that you are are you a trend trader or a counter trend trader you must also put down some other parameters that will guide you that plan that trading plan plan is simply a set of rules to guide you a set of rules to make you organized a set of rules that would help you to be patient and disciplined in this business and you would easily agree with me that a lot of traders are not patient and of course they're not disciplined even traders that have a trading plan they do not follow their own trading plan how do you expect to improve in the business if you do not follow your trading plan think about it so these are things that traders need to understand today and then this trading plan is very very key very very important in the trading plan also i would add your strategy because your strategy is the method is the way that you place trades and you're going to be placing trades based on entry and even exit entry and exit now when it comes to the business of trading whatever strategy you are using whatever strategy you're using is still going to have an entry and exit write these things down note them down that is part of your trading plan because once you write these things down then you will know how you're going to be following these things in another video i would elaborate more on this trading plan because it is very important the other thing that you can put into the trading plan to make you well balanced to make you be in control of your trading and this is very key very very important now apart from the trading based on the strategy for entry and exit you must also know how to manage your trades trade management trade management is simply what trade management is simply based on how you manage your trades <laughs> sorry to laugh trade management is simply how you manage your trades what does that even mean you have the likes of break even when do you go to break even mean that when the trade is moving in your favor how do you manage the trade and becomes a risk-free trade trailing stop is another aspect of uh, trade management technique or even partial close and of course these aspects are how you manage trades when they're going in your favor what about how you manage trades when it's going against you because i can tell you for a fact a lot of traders when it's going against them they tend to do something very silly they tend to move the stop loss even lower as the trade is coming down against them or they trend they tend to what they tend to yank out the uh, uh stop loss entirely and then that gives them what it gives them level of unlimited loss because now that you've removed the stop loss your loss is not you know there's no limit there's no barrier and you're risking the whole account balance which is even you know much more dangerous so that is why you must have a trading plan you can see that everything we started it has a way there's a way we are talking about it that it follows right from the aspect of psychology to risk management to trading plan to strategy to trade management and then after the trade management you place trades strategy trade management manage your trades you need a trading journal trading journal very important it is going to help you to keep records of your trades keep records of your trades why so that you can easily review your trades after a while by the time you review your trades 
your trading journal will start to give you some certain information which it has already told me my own trading journal and i've been keeping journals for years it has told me the days of the week that i have most of my trades the days of the week that i have most of my winners the days of the week even on the flip side the days of the week that i have my losses as well and then it has also told me um the t the time of the day when i have the trades i normally get so that has helped me to know how to approach the market based on the winners and the losers it has also helped me to know when to trade and when not to trade do you have a trading journal some of you might say yes are you dedicated with that trading journal then you say no some of you might even say you don't have a trading journal at all these are things that you need to get and work on right very key very, very important the last thing I'm going to leave you with is how to avoid unnecessary losses. Unnecessary losses. There are times that in the market, as an example, you need is going to be very, very volatile. And it's going to be very, very volatile. Like news, you have like the non-farm payroll, FOMC, CPI, consumer price index, retail sales, and a whole lot of you know high volatile news. I will make the spread to increase whip saws, slippages, and so on and so forth. But then because you want fast money you jump in and then the losses occur unnecessarily or you are placing trades on instruments that are not in your trading plan unnecessary losses there are a lot of trades that we take today that we are not supposed to and then when we have those losses it affects our psychology that number one psychology and once it affects our psychology we are all over the place again i'm going to leave it over here just to ensure that this video is not way too lengthy and if you have any questions use the section below the comment section ask questions and i'll get back to you and if this video was helpful in any way give it a thumbs up if there's anything you want us to talk about even the more let us know and if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and when we drop new videos like this you'll be able to benefit even more from them. So for now, I want to say thank you for tuning in. Hope this video was helpful, especially for those that are new and even for the struggling traders on the pathway to take on how to approach the market in this new year of 2024. I wish you guys best of luck. Till the next video, goodbye. Cheers.